Uttarakhand, the state of majestic Himalayas and the land of gods. In the short span of 16 years, it has marked its presence in every field, from actors, singers, politicians, environmentalists and sportsmen. The state has nurtured several talented people which represent Uttarakhand in different states and countries. Uttarakhand is a place where adventure, thrill and peace go hand in hand with each other. The Dev Bhumi attracts people from all over the world in search of spirituality to places like Haridwar, Rishikesh and the numerous temples of the state. Dehradun, the capital city of Uttarakhand, located in the Doon Valley at the foothills of the Himalayas, bordered by the Ganges and Yamuna rivers. The city is known for its pleasant climate and provides a gateway to the popular hill stations like Nainital, Masuri and pilgrimage sites like Haridwar, Rishikesh and the Char Dham. The city which has prestigious institutions like the Indian Military Academy and the Forest Research Institute has managed to keep a hold on its historical importance while making advancements along with it. After the partition of Uttarakhand from Uttar Pradesh, the facilities in the sports field of the state have not been able to give justice to the immense talent in the state. A number of young sportsmen every year travel outside the state to get good training and international platform to showcase their talent. Every young child who plays a sport has a dream to represent its state and the country on global levels. It's time that this aspiration, which was limited to just being a dream, is turned into a reality. The state is all set to have its first ever international cricket stadium in Dehradun. A dream which was first seen in the year 2012 has finally come alive. An international level stadium is all set to take Uttarakhand on a global platform. Building a stadium this grand was not an easy task to be completed. An initiative had to be taken, a plan had to be processed, a concept had to be brought alive. A process which took almost five years saw several hurdles come up in the process. From finding a perfect place for the stadium to getting finances as high as 240 crores. The project had several milestones to be covered. The construction started in the year 2012. A barren land had to be prepared for the biggest sports arena of the state. Collage Design came up with the design of the stadium which had the feel of becoming one of the best stadiums ever built. Shapurji Palunji took up the responsibility to make this design come alive with a team of dedicated professionals and hard-working workers in the set amount of time frame. There came times when the nature played a toll on the construction of the stadium and things looked really hard. These four years have been the most challenging time in the life of the CEO and the COO of the Dehradun International Cricket Stadium project. The stadium has a five-pitch ground with additional five practice pitches for the cricketers. The boundary is 75 meters from the center and it matches all the international cricket standards. The stadium has a Bermuda grass field and black soil is used for the construction of the pitch which are specially imported to suit the weather of Dehradun. It has been assured that the ground gets proper sunlight and less shadow as an apt amount of sunlight is required for the ground to breathe. The seats of the stadium which were imported from China were designed to give a traditional apron look with the red and white color. 
the stadium comprises of four wings with perfect arrangements for viewers, players, media and VIP people. The club of the Dehradun International Cricket Stadium has an inbuilt gym, spa, yoga room, bowling alley, VIP lounge, swimming pool, billiards, table tennis, along with many more indoor facilities. The stadium will not just create several opportunities for the young talent in the state, but will also get the state highlighted on global platforms, attracting a number of people towards it. Every cricketer from any part of Uttarakhand now. Namaskar, Vayu. News Uttarakhand Samachar के माध्यम से मैं आपको बताना चाहता हूँ हमारे उत्तराखंड में 18 साल हो चुके हैं अभी तक बच्चों के लिए कोई प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं क्रिकेट को लेके तो अभी जो एक बीसीआई ने जो पहल की है एक बहुत अच्छा मौका दिया है राजीव गांधी इंटरनेशनल स्टेडियम देहरादून रायपुर में बहुत अच्छा इन्होंने जो है यहाँ पे मैचेस कराने के लिए जो स्टेडियम है बाहर की जो विदेश को जो टीमें बुलाई हैं तो कुछ आने वाले कुछ समय में अभी बीसीसीआई से भी जो बातें चल रही हैं जो तीन चार कमेटी हैं उनको तीन कमेटी एकजुट हो चुकी है एक कमेटी अलग है तो बच्चों को बहुत अच्छा जो है अभी आने वाले समय में बहुत अच्छी खुशखबरी मिलने वाली है कि उत्तराखंड एक एसोसिएशन बनने वाली है और हमारे एसोसिएशन ना होने के बावजूद हमारे यहाँ पर उत्तराखंड में बच्चों के पास इतना टैलेंट है आप देख सकते हो कितने हमारे यहाँ से कितने बच्चे जो है बाहर निकले हैं और इंटरनेशनल में धमाल कर रहे हैं उत्तराखंड का पूरा नाम जो कि आप देख सकते हो मनीष पांडे ऋषभ पंत तो पूरे छाए पड़े हैं हमारे ऋषभ पंत हो गए एम एस धोनी भी इधर के थे रहने वाले और काफ़ी सारे बहुत सारे जो प्लेयर हैं इंटरनेशनल प्लेयर उत्तराखंड ने दिए हैं तो इतना टैलेंट है उत्तराखंड के बच्चों में बहुत अच्छा टैलेंट है चाहे वहाँ के कोचिज ले लीजिए आप तो मेरा मेन यही है कि इंटरनेशनल में जो पहले जो मैच हुई है जो सीरीज हो रही है बांग्लादेश और अफगानिस्तान की तो इससे जल्दी ही बीसीसीआई या तो अपनी यहाँ पे कमेटी नई कमेटी भेजेगी या फिर इन्हीं को एक एकजुट करके जो है स्टार्ट कराएगी मैचेस यहाँ पे जो बच्चों को आगे खेलने का प्लेटफॉर्म मिल सके तो बहुत अच्छे सराहना काम है बी का तो मैं बी का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूँ कि उन्होंने जो है बाहर की विदेश की जो टीमें बुलाई और अभ्यास मैचेस भी जो है उत्तराखंड के जो जितने भी सीनियर प्लेयर हैं उनको खेलने का मौका दिया तो मैं न्यूज़ उत्तराखंड समाचार का एक बार फिर धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूँ जय हिंद जय भारत जय उत्तराखंड